I'm here at the Las Vegas Convention Center in South Hall. This section is filled with numerous Chinese companies, especially ones selling drones. But right here is the Changzhou First International Trade Company. Yesterday, they were selling a device called the Trotter, a sort of skateboard, hoverboard device that has one wheel in the middle. Yesterday, federal marshals raided this booth. The booth was forced to shut down due to accusations by Future Motion, a Silicon Valley company which produces a similar product called the One Wheel. A bystander showed me this photo, which was taken at the time of the raid. Although chaotic, a nearby vendor told me he saw signs being torn down and one female representative crying over the matter. Another bystander told me he saw the accused walking out in handcuffs. The Consumer Technology Association, the owner and producer of CES, issued a statement saying it supports intellectual property and the rule of law. So a little drama here at CES, but really only one booth out of more than 36,000. For the rest, the show goes on with trend-setting, innovative, and some crazy tech that seeks to inspire. Going electric. From the high-end race car to the high-tech family vehicle, Green Power is making a statement at CES. Electric modes of transport, like the X scooter, are becoming more and more popular. This one just pops open like this. Just the seat. Hop on. And I'm off to the races. The X scooter is no harder to ride than a bicycle. It can hit speeds of 25 kilometers per hour. It travels up to 24 kilometers on a single four hour charge. Other tech utilized vertical space. Fly shields its propeller, making it safer and in many ways friendlier, more like a personalized flying robot. But despite hundreds of drones at CES vying for attention, Chinese company Ehang unveiled an aerial vehicle that dwarfed them all. The Ehang 184 is the world's first consumer autonomous aerial vehicle. It can transport a person weighing up to 100 kilograms. And the all-electric vehicle is designed to take that person up to 3,500 meters high for a 23-minute journey. After selecting a flight plan, a passenger just needs to click on the controls twice, once to take off, and once to land. So it's absolute safe um, because even one rotor, you know, like one motor or one propeller, two propeller, three, four, are not working, right? I mean, you. This air vehicle still hover, still fly, still will be able to fly to the nearest possible landing point, making sure the passenger is safe. At CES, nearly every attendee had at least one virtual experience, whether in a crowd or alone. Using an HTC Vive headset and tools, along with the power of Intel processing, animator Matthew Taylor is painting from within his art. I could spend about a whole day inside of here, <laughs> just uh, making my own world. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to like get out of it. I wanted to stay. It's like, oh, I could do so much. It changed my style in a sense, um, whereas in animation I'm drawing flat. Uh, now I'm thinking in volume, thinking geometrically in, in space. So I'm doing things different. At CES, technology is working to transform society both inside and out. Mark New, CCTV, Las Vegas.